rather than approaching the consumer helpline. All right. Thank you very much, Jim C. Jepuria, for joining us. Let's uh, get you more news now. And this is uh, from the startup space. Well, uh, we are learning, and this is coming in from Sridhar Wembu, co-founder and CEO of Zoho Corp. When asked if startup layoffs uh, are going to continue, he told Jude Sanit that most startups will be forced to remain bootstrapped. And this problem within the startup ecosystem in India could continue for the next two to three years. Let's play out that interview for you. The Indian startup tracker said that nearly 15,000 employees were laid off this year alone across 44 startups. What is going on really with this long winter of the Indian startup industry and how long do you foresee the situation to continue? See, we cannot make sense of what is happening now without understanding what happened in the past. We raised way too much money and companies were willing to lose way too much money without uh, you know, a clear path to profitability. Mm. Those were all obvious a year ago, two years ago. And it was obvious to everyone watching. Mm -hmm. It's not like it was uh, you know, something that was hidden from you. But yet, the assumption was somehow things will resolve themselves. And sadly, you know, as expected, anybody watching this industry would have seen this boom-bust cycles. We mm -hmm. saw the dot-com bubble and the bust, mm -hmm. the telecom bubble and bust, and then the global financial crisis, the bubble preceding the GFC, and then the bust. Mm -hmm. And this is the third time. Unfortunately, this appears to be the biggest bubble yet. And history, if history were any guide, the bust that follows a bubble is proportionate to the bubble size itself. Mm. Which is why I'm very worried about this. Right. But do you expect this to continue? Do you foresee more startups laying employees if off? If we see the previous bubble burst, it takes about a couple of years, two, three years for situation to mm. come to some normalization. But even then, it's not immediately off to the races again. Mm. You, you go, you find a base bottom and then slowly build back up. Then finally things start mm. to take off. That's what I expect. But more or less the same timeline this year. The same line, well. for example, in 2008-9 we had the GFC. But even as of 2012, they were subdued. Mm. Only by 2013, 14, things mm. started to come back up. Mm -hmm. If you apply that timeline, we may have a couple of years of this and then slow pick up. That's All what right. I see. Yeah. And it's not just you know layoffs across startup companies. You're also seeing funding drying up. In fact, PricewaterhouseCoopers has said that it's at a two-year low right now. Admittedly, over a high base effect yeah, since exactly. last year was so phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, do you see a funding crunch even as the next few years roll by? There is a lot of capital money floating around, but unfortunately it is also tied to what the Federal Reserve policies are. Mm. Monetary policies drive a lot of these, mm -hmm. because if interest rates are high in dollar terms, then naturally alternative investments, including venture capital, become less profitable. Mm -hmm. So if you want to predict funding environment, you have to look at the interest rates, mm -hmm. where they are going. Right. And at this point, because inflation is not forecastable, mm -hmm. I really don't know what where that's heading. And that's a key determinant, no doubt. Yes. You know, but in absolute terms itself, looking at the way things are going, you'd expect, you you see VCs, investors actually becoming a lot more picky in terms of what they want from companies. It already is happening. Yeah. So do you see more companies, you know, focusing on the basics, path to profitability, unit economics, these would obviously be key determinants of how Even well they Even in do. good times, companies should focus on the basics. Mm. Because you, you, you can never predict when the bad times will arrive. Mm -hmm. So even in good times, companies that focused on fundamentals continue to do well even during downturns. Mm -hmm. It's only that, unfortunately, the temptation is to swing for the big one, right? Mm -hmm. And that is, that is the temptation that, unfortunately, is what gives rise to these buzz. Mm -hmm. But I hope people learn these lessons. India has huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go from three trillion, I think 30 trillion mm -hmm. would you know, only beginning scratch the surface for our potential mm -hmm. because of our population and our talent pool, all of that. Mm -hmm. I'd say 30 trillion, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm serious, not mm -hmm. just five trillion. Mm -hmm. but if you get there, you're going to have you know, multiple 100 billion, 500 billion companies mm -hmm. in our country. Mm -hmm. But they take time to build. Mm -hmm. We need to invest in capabilities. Mm -hmm. I hope that a lot of people do that. All right, now let's 